everyone welcome back to my kitchen this video was highly requested i've never done really like a proper baking video before i've literally just done segments in my vlogs so i'm so excited to film this you have no idea and i get to bake at the same time so it's kind of a win-win for me today we are making lemon drizzle loaf lemon drizzle loaf it's just lemon drizzle cake but i put it in the same tin as i put a banana bread in you know like the loaf tin just because I like it that way, it tastes nicer if I cut in slices. We've got my recipe book here that I made when I was a child, look. Look how cute that is, my recipe book. If you know this pattern from Paper Chase, you're a bad bitch if you used to buy this pattern from Paper Chase, not gonna lie. Uh, I had an apron in this pattern, I had stickers, I had notepads. I was obsessed, but then they stopped doing it, discontinued it, got really upset. So, we're gonna make that today because might as well we've got really nothing else to do this recipe oh i need to put my hair up i've already washed my hands i'm gonna put my hair up be back in a minute the hair's gone up right this recipe i don't know what to do because i haven't got the link to it because it's in my book so i might put the link to it which will then be the link to my baking highlight where the recipe will be Anyway, if you want the recipe, it'll be on my baking highlight on my Instagram. My Instagram's this. Go and have a look. Or I'll try and put it in the description. We'll have a look. But first things first, we need to cream together the butter and the sugar. So we need to weigh out 225 grams of butter and sugar. I don't like using the big machines. Dad did buy me one for my birthday. And um, I just didn't like it. I, d I don't know. It's just so hard to clean and it's heavy. And I have to lift it from the utility room to the kitchen and I just can't be asked. So I'm using proper, what's this called? Elbow, proper elbow grease today. Uh, and we're using, I just buy a stalk, but mum's got this BTEC stalking because she probably couldn't find it. Best for baking cakes, Asda. So love that. I have used this before. It's just like, just like a dupe to stalk really. Um, anyway, how is everyone? How's everyone doing? What's everyone been up to? I'm um, not gonna lie, I have been stuck over the past couple of days just because like, I have been stuck. So I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Like I've, I've done like two puzzles. I've baked loads. You know, I work out most mornings. I go for walks. Like I'm just like, like I need more things to do. So if anyone has any great ideas or just let me know what you've been up to just to inspire me a little bit because you know i'm i've sort of hit a got in a bit of a got in a bit of a rut almost there you know staying positive staying happy always keep smiling you know All right 228 oh fuck ah perfect Mariana is not with us for this video. Unfortunately, she's out for a walk with my mum. Thank God, she kind of pisses me off a little bit when she's baking. Like, she just, she just gets in my way. Like, I don't like anyone interfering with baking or when I'm doing a puzzle. Like, these are my things that I want to do on my own. Like, I'm really bad at sharing tasks. Oh my God, this has got a f***ing hole in it. Can you see that? Oh! Oh, oh man. Great. Right, I need 225 grams of this. Right, and then I'm gonna stir that. Yeah, does anyone like also feel like that? Fucking tie that up. Like when I'm baking, this is what I wanna do on my own. I'm gonna be like, when I'm baking, when I'm a mum, I'm just gonna be, I don't know how, what I'm gonna do with that, with the kids wanna help. I'm just gonna have to, oh, I don't know. Right, okay, so I'm gonna cream this together until it's light and fluffy. Let's go. Don't know how long this will take, but well, yeah, all my baking not advice, all my baking expertise, all my baking knowledge might that's probably a better word comes from Great British Bake Off uh, and Mayberry and Lorraine, not Lorraine Kelly, that's the news producer, isn't it? No, the news. She's a woman on ITV. That's not Lorraine K. Lorraine, oh, what's her name? She's a baker and a chef. And she's really pretty. Oh, one of her cookbooks in there. I used to love her. 
Oh, Lorraine Pascal, that was it. Uh, I loved her as well, I have many of her books. And she used to have a program on BBC as well that I liked because it was like, she used to make starters, mains, and then desserts. So she used to make like a whole, yeah, a whole meal. And I don't know, the way she baked and like her voice is just so soothing and satisfying. I really liked her. So yeah, I was a massive fan of Great British Bake Off. I feel like I'll go more into in depth in this video of my baking obsession because I haven't really spoke about it. But yeah, when I was about, I'm going to say nine, even eight to about 12, 13, I, I was, I was obsessed. Mum will tell you, I was literally obsessed. Like every single Sunday when there was an event or just when I was literally bored, I used to make cakes, cookies, brownies, I used to make everything. So no, I was just obsessed. Like, I don't know why I loved it so much. I was just... I had the most fun doing it, so I used to watch Great British Bake Off repeats uh, every single time Great British Bake Off was on. I used to watch it. I don't know. Um, then I started watching. God, my fucking I shouldn't have worn long sleeves. Uh, I used to started watching the the children's one. Was that on CBBC or was that on BBC as well? But yeah, I started watching the children's one. It was good. It wasn't as good as the adult one he bought me all my own equipment i had all my own bowls whisks what else can you have bowls whisks spoons measuring things jugs like you name it i had it i was a proper bacon geek so yeah so quarantine is sort of like well i've got more time on my hands so quarantine is you know What's that word called? Just like I've redeveloped my love for baking because I never really, I never really bake anymore. I don't know if it's because I don't have time or I just can't be bothered or yeah, probably just that. But I'm loving it. That's why I need Mariana Hicks. I need Mariana to do like the close up bits. But I will try and show you because this is supposed to be a baking video, not a vlog. So, okay, so that's what my mixture looks like now. It should just be light and fluffy. Oh, my, oh, my arm hurts. My arm hurts. My hand gets sore. So I'm just going to leave that there because that should be fine. Uh, okay, so now I need... Oh, now. We need four eggs, which I'm going to whisk together in a separate bowl. I like cracking eggs, it's satisfying. Back to my obsession. My obsession was that strong. I obviously have my own baking cookbook. At the back of this cookbook, I completely forgot I did this, but I have like all my plans. I wanted my own bakery basically. So yeah, that must have been in like year six. So I need one more egg, hold on. Yeah, so at the back of this book, I've got like all my plans for my own bakery. I've got like the name, I've, I've done like a little drawing of the shop, like what, what it's gonna look like from the outside. Um, I've done a menu, like, oh God, this is loud. I've done a menu with like everything that I'm gonna bake. So I had like brownies on there, I had cookies, like Victoria sponge, chocolate cake. Lemon drizzle loads, of course. I had my shortbread, my millionaire shortbread on there. And like what I was gonna price everything at. So I think, I think shortbread was like 50p. And like a slice of cake was like 30p or something like that. I remember doing that. So that's all at the back of this book, which is hilarious. They have a rotor at the back of that book, like of what everyone's gonna do. So obviously I'm baking the cakes. I think mum and, I think Chintzy was cleaning the kitchen and the windows. Mum was doing the tables. Dad was doing, oh, I don't know. So I had, I just had jobs for everyone in the family in my little, in my little kitchen. So I think, yeah, I completely forgot I did that. But yeah, I was serious about it. I wanted my own baker, I was, I was very serious. Maybe when anyone asks me now, like, what did you want to be when you were younger? Like, what did you want to be when you were older, when you were younger? Does that make sense? I wanted to be a baker. But also like a teacher as well. But I think Baker, Baker must have been at the forefront then, because obviously I made a, I made my own bakery. I think it was just called Lydia's Bakery. Creative, I know. Oh my god, this is why you use a, 
electric whisk. So everyone has been watching Tithing on Netflix, but everyone's been telling me to watch it, but I just don't, I don't know, I just don't fancy it. Like, it doesn't look like something that I would watch normally. Like, it just looks, I don't know, it just looks a bit weird. And obviously, obviously I'm, I haven't watched Netflix in, yeah, since we've got Disney Plus, I just haven't been watching it because I've got so many movies to get through. Disney Plus that I just can't, I just never find myself going on Netflix except to watch Friends but even that's a rare occasion right now so I don't know I just don't know if it's worth it if anyone like it just looks a bit weird but if anyone recommends it tell me why below because I need a bit more persuading I know Chinsy has watched them all and who else has watched them? I think like Olivia's watched them I don't know I just don't it doesn't look like my sort of thing it's really taking it out of me Jesus Every time I go on TikTok, there's so many TikToks made about Tiger King, which I don't understand. And Chinsu was like, well, watch it and then you'll understand the TikToks. But I just don't think it's worth spending six hours of my life watching it just to understand the TikToks. Do you mean? So we'll see. We'll see if I give in because I've been pretty stubborn at the moment. Aww. I know uh, we have been loving Disney Plus. It's actually the best thing ever. Every single night, me and Mel will put on probably watch like two movies. Yeah. Last night was Mulan. Oh, I fucking love that. Oh, I love Mulan. I have a severe crush on the pr not the it's not a prince, but the crush on the boy in that. I forgot his name. And also, I really like. I like Flynn Rider from Tangled and mm, who else? Mm, Prince Charming from Cinderella but that's a bit of a basic one. I do like John Smith, he is fit but I don't really like blondes so it's not doing that much for me. Oh, did you see that? Oh, getting a bit too excited with the mix in. It's because it's four eggs in this f***ing recipe, it takes so long. What else did we watch? Was it like... can't remember now. can't remember, but I watched Pocahontas in the morning. Pocahontas and Mulan are my two favourites. I love Pocahontas, I don't know why. She's just so pretty and so cool and wants peace and I don't know, I just love her. But I have trying to... S I'm going to start Pocahontas 2. I did watch like 10 minutes of that, but mum came in and ruined it for me because she wanted to put me in some murders on. So I need to give that a go. I don't know, I've never really watched... Ah, I never really watched the number two on, on the original Disney's. Like, I know Cinderella's got Cinderella like two and three, but I've never watched them. So maybe if I run out of things to watch, I'll watch them. But yeah, Pocahontas 2 actually looks really good. I won't give anybody any spoilers if you want to watch it, but all I'm up to now is Pocahontas thinks John Smith is dead and now she's going to the new world, which is... No, she's going to... No, she goes to England to like meet the king, I think. And that's all I've got up to at the moment. So she hasn't, she doesn't know John Smith is alive. Or is he alive? I don't really know. So I'm very excited to watch that. Actually, I might watch that when I'm eating my lemon cake or when it's in the oven. Right, we've sort of got a dilemma with the flour because you do need 225 grams of self raising flour. We couldn't find any in any of the shops we've been to over the, over the week. Like we haven't found any i have this much self raising flour probably like up to there so i don't know how much i have of that but then i do have loads of plain flour we managed to find plain flour so i bought that and i've got baking powder so i'm gonna sort of like i don't know if to put in the remainder of self raising flour and then add the plain flour and a bit of baking powder or just stick to plain flour and add the appropriate baking powder. I don't know if it'll fuck up if I add both flours. And you can't even tell me if I can do that because you're gonna be watching this a day later. Maybe I'll just do the plain flour, just keep it on the safe side. Okay, so I've Googled it how much, like how to convert how much self self-raising flour you need into plain flour and it says just add two teaspoons 
of baking powder for every 150 grams of plain flour. So I need 225 grams. Therefore, what's that? So 150, 250 is 300. So maybe I'll just do three teaspoons of baking powder and hopefully that'll be fine. Okay, let's measure this out. Ooh. What's 200? I don't put all my flour in one go because it's it's quite a lot and yeah, I just space it out. So what's 225 grams? 225 grams divided by three. 75, okay, so we need three lots of 75. Do you know what I mean? And then with three lots, I'll do one teaspoon of baking powder with, with each. With each portion, compartment, I don't really know what you call it. There we go. 75 grams. Oh, fuck. I didn't preheat the fucking oven. But also, how funny is this, right? Because I used to hate preheating the oven when I was younger. I just thought it was a waste of time and pointless. In this recipe that I've written myself, it hasn't given me the degree to turn the oven on out. Just says, cream together. That's, that's number one, cream together. And then two, spoon into prepared tin and bake. 40 minutes. Okay, well, fucking hell. I'm going to have to Google. Let me just get up. Let me just get up a lemon drizzle cake recipe and just see what time they put it in at. Preferably a Mary Berry one. Um, they've said 180 grams. So, no, 180, so, oh, it said 180 degrees, so I've just put the oven on like that. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder to my mixture, if I can open it. Beautiful, look at that mix. Right, and now we're going to sift, 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 sift or sieve, sieve in it, sieve it in, or sift it in, I don't know. There we go. And fold that in. Oh God. I don't know, there's just something about baking. I just find it so therapeutic. Like, I'm on my own. I'm just focused on one thing, making sure it goes all right. Like, I'm not on my phone. I don't know, I just find it really therapeutic. And I'm really excited to eat whatever I'm making. So, yeah, I just love it. I think it's a nice little, what's that word called? It's a nice little activity to do. Also, you feel so proud of yourself. Like when you've made, when you've made whatever it is that you get to make, you just feel so proud of yourself because you made that. Do you know what I mean? Or is that just me? Okay, another 75 grams in we go. And a teaspoon of baking powder. Hopefully this works and it does rise because if it doesn't rise, I'm going to be very upset and probably not upload this video. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I will. Ooh. And then we're going to fold that in. Did I do a teaspoon of baking powder? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm going to fold that in now. Also, I'm very happy because we were clearing out. We're doing like a big spring clean on the house. Like, we, we our hallway there and like all our landing used to be turquoise don't ask me why it was not a family choice it was mum's choice so it used to be turquoise and i used to not like it but now she's repainted it it's supposed to be like a really pale aqua but the paints come out almost like a really pale lavender almost like an ash gray so i'm very happy with that so yeah we're having like a big spring clean to the house we've like cleared out all the cupboards and like we've got a this is our back room here, which is used to be a games room, but now it's just like a, a weird office that no one really uses. It's just like our truck. It's like our junk room, basically. So we've cleared that out, and Dad found, um, you know those. Oh, sorry, I'm just mixing this. I find it so hard to multitask. Oh, this is looking so good. Right, last portion of flour. In we go. He found those. You know that that thing. It's like a. A long and it's got handles at the end and you can pull it for, for your upper body exercises so you're like you can stand on it stand in the middle of it and go like that or like that do you know what i mean 
So he found one of them, which I'm so happy about because all I've been doing is like a bit of abs, a bit of legs, a bit of cardio. Like I haven't done any upper body. Oh my, ages. So I'm so happy about that because now I can do like my back, tries, buys, you know, all of that. But I did that this morning and I'm feeling good. I only did it, I only had like a half an hour workout today. Oh, I didn't do my teaspoon of fucking bacon. Did I do my teaspoon of baking powder? I feel like I did. But I don't want to watch back this footage. Did I do it? I'll just do a tiny bit because I can't really remember. Just better to be safe than sorry, you know what I mean? So yeah, I found that today. So I did a little arm exercise, arm workout. I still haven't got any um, weights because they're all sold out on Amazon or they're ridiculously expensive and I don't really want to invest that much money in weights. We have like big bottles of water in the utility room, I think. So I might fill them up or I've seen people use like, like a rucksack and put like stones in it as a weight when they do like Russian twists or they do abs or something. So I might try that. It's kind of a good, it's kind of a good alternative. I'm sure there's loads of alternatives. I just need to just need to google it oh right this mixture's looking beautiful now i thought i had a mare with it but this is literally it's just like a normal cake batter this has got the flour egg sugar flour eggs sugar and butter it's basically just a normal cake mix but now um we need to put the lemon zest in it so I use three lemons. I use the zest and the juice, but you only put the zest into the actual cake mixture. You save the juice for the icing on top. So let's get my lemons. Right, I'm gonna set aside that mixture for a little bit while I'm making the, while I'm zesting my lemon. This is actually the worst bit. I hate doing this. It's just so boring, isn't it? And like. I wish I could have someone to do this for me. Actually, when I do have kids, the one task they come to is zest the lemons, preheat the oven, and grease grease the the baking tin because that's also boring in it. Okay, now I'm just gonna zest these. Is that even working? Why is it not working? Hmm? What? Why is that grease not working? Oh, maybe I'll use this one. What the hell? Oh, it smells so good though. That's why I love making this. I love the smell of lemons. I'm just gonna grate these. Love this. Oh, this is gonna take a piss in it. God. Where's all the zest gone? Mm. Also, um, I find it so interesting to see what everyone's favorite thing to bake is because when I told people like, oh, I'm gonna make lemon drizzle loaf, some people were like, mm. but some people love it and they're like, yeah, I love it. So I don't really know. I just, I love seeing everyone's favorite thing to bake or eat. It's actually one of my favorite things. I don't know, I just, I find it so interesting. I think it tells so much about a person. Like if you hate banana bread, then unfortunately we can't be friends because banana bread is one of my favorite things. It never used to be in recent years, you know, Banana bread was my favourite. Like, anyone's been inspired, Chloe. That vegan bun, banana bread. Oh my god, it's probably the best banana bread you'll ever eat. And it's vegan and it just tastes amazing. And the banana bread from Starbucks is amazing as well. Sophia got me on that. Because she was like, every time I go to Starbucks, I have to get the banana bread. So, she introduced me to that. Thanks, so. I don't know what mine is. It's a toss up between. I love the banana bread. I love my millionaire shortbread. That's like a. That's like a comfort food for me. Like that's like my childhood food. I don't really know. You guys are gonna literally take the piss. Yeah, and remember, not don't throw away the lemons because you need them. You need their juice later. So hold on to your lemons. Can you buy lemon zest already, like pre prepared? Because you can buy lemon juice prepared. Maybe not the zest though, because you can't do that fresh. I don't know. Maybe in America you can. For like America, you can buy everything, so. So yes, I am still zesting these lemons. I've got one more to do. It's 
looking all right. One more to go, people. Oh yeah, a close up of the lemon zest. So please ignore my fucking broken nails, if you can see them. I broke, well I didn't break them, Mariana broke them. So I'm not very happy with her at the moment. She broke them a couple, was it yesterday I think? Is it, too, is it dark or is it just me? Yeah, so I was, I think I was unlocking the door. Actually, no, this one was kind of my fault. I was unlocking the door and my nail just got caught underneath, under the door handle and it just snapped off. That was that one and this one, wait, yeah, and this one, Mariana did that but I forgot how she did it. But she did it, so. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do about those nails because they kind of just look shit. But all the other ones are growing out anyway. So what I might do is, Chintia got sent a really good nail kit to take off her acrylic nails. I forgot the company. And she did it yesterday and they look so good. Like she said it didn't even take that long. She just soaked off her acrylics with acetone for about three, four minutes. Filed them down. They came off more nicely. And then she just, I don't know, put nail strength them on. And then she just painted them and they look really nice. So... I need to do that. Nails are gonna go to shit if I leave them any longer, so I need to do that ASAP. Also, I've decided I'm gonna take my extensions out because they're doing my head in, like they're just doing my head in. When I wash them, I'm just gonna have a little vent here, so if you don't like me venting, just skip. Um, Every time I wash them, okay, they get so knotty, it literally takes me, I think I've complained about this in, all my videos that like it takes ages for me to dry my hair and style it. It literally takes me what? Half an hour to brush it because there's so many knots. Then it takes another hour and a half to blow dry it. And by the end of it, it still gets knotty. Like my hair gets so knotty. And it never used to get knotty. So I'm just like, I'm just, I'm done with it. Like I'm in quarantine. No one's going to be seeing my hair. So I'm just going to take them out because I'm done with it. I'm done with this life. But then obviously, Maybe when quarantine's over, I'll get them put back in. Just because I do like having them in. I do like having really long hair and really thick hair. It's just, right now there's more cons and pros with, you know, with it. On beauty works. Let me just get this out. Sorry, this is loud. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I just kicked the tripod, you all right? Let me just be careful now. For three lemons, that's the zest you get. So I'm just gonna mix this into the batter now. For, um... Oh yeah, what was I talking about? Extensions. Chinsia took her extensions out, probably at the start, start of UK lockdown, which was a couple weeks ago now. Uh, she just, what she did was, she what, got in the shower, put loads of conditioner in her hair, like put it all through the roots, and then just sat there brushing her hair so then the extensions just came out. Last time I washed my hair, which was a couple days ago, like five came out. So one side of my hair is thicker than the other. So I just think next time I wash it, it will definitely all come out if I just put loads of conditioner in it. So I'm gonna do that and I will vlog it. So that'll be in the next vlog. Oh my God, maybe I should do like a quarantine pamper with me and like take my hair out, do my nails. Like I might fake tan and do a face mask oh my god that's actually such a cute idea oh i like that idea if you want me if you want to see me do that video let me know okay doesn't seem like a lot of lemon i'm not gonna lie i kind of want to put some more let's kind of put some juice in it let me smell it no actually because you put icing on top so no this is fine okay so what you do mix in my main what was it Eat in lemon zest and fold in the flour. Yep, done that. Spoon into prepared tin and bake for 40 to 50 minutes. So it's like banana bread. It's gonna take the same time as banana bread. This is the loaf tin I use, if anyone gives a shit. Don't know where I got it from. It's just a standard loaf tin. But we're gonna grease proof this now. This is my least favorite part. Don't know, I just don't like getting my fingers in butter. So I don't know. That's the same for anyone else. Oh, it's just a boring task. Probably a bit both. Okay, tin is prepared. 
My hands are all buttery now. I wonder if I wash them. I'm gonna get a spatula and evenly pour this into the tip. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, let's do this. You want it even because you want it to rise as a nice dome. We don't want any lopsided lemon drizzle loaves out here. I'm just gonna smooth it down now so it's nice and flat and even. Oh my God, it looks so good. She's thick. Okay, let me show you. Here you go. This is what she looks like. Quite even if I do say so myself. It's in for, it says 40 to 50 minutes. I'll probably put it in for 45 and then just have a look what it looks like after that. So let's put her in. Hey Siri, set a timer for 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes and counting. Okay, and now we're just gonna wait for her to cook and clean up a bit because I've made a mess. Remember, don't throw your lemons away, we need them. That has been cooking away now for almost 40 minutes. It's got four minutes left, so I thought I'd make the lemon juice. Right, I have like a secret tip to my lemon cake. I don't know if this is the same for all lemon cakes, but this is what I do with my lemon cake. So when it comes out of the oven, leave it to cool for a little bit. But what I do is I make little holes just by like stabbing in like a pallet knife or like I used to have one of the, you know like skewers? I used to stick, make some holes and then pour half of the lemon juice from these three lemons over it and then let that soak in allow that to cool when that's all soaked in i make an icing to put on top so lemon juice goes in the cake and there's icing on top to make it extra moist you can come in there it's all right mm. mum's here everyone Bye. so i'm just gonna juice these lemons now just squeeze it into a thing Ugh. what is your favorite thing that i used to make me in a short was, is that your ultimate fave? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> What's your second fave? My second fave? Yeah. Um, I do like the lemon drizzle. It is classic, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good one, that. I haven't made this in ages. Oh my god, I'm gonna make Viennese whirls. Oh god, yeah. Oh, they were amazing. Yeah, they were. <gasps> yeah, you know in that, in the Great British Bake Off recipe book that I got. What, what season was that? I don't know. It was the season with Mary, was that her name? Mary Claire. Mary Ann. Mary Ann. The season with Mary Ann. Who else was in that season? The woman with the children, she was a mother, I can't really remember. That season, I got the recipe book because I really liked that season. And they have a recipe called Melting Moments, which are just basically Viennese worlds. And I made them and they're insane. So I might make them next. Actually, that's a good show. Okay, so I've just got my lemon juice. Half of this will go into the cake pure and half of it will make the icing. So let me get another bowl out and pour half of it let me divide it up. <gasps> Ooh. Like that. So that's been in for 45 minutes. It does say 40 to 50 minutes. So let's just have a look. <gasps> oh. <gasps> wow. What's it like? That is cooked. It says six to seven tablespoons of icing sugar, but I'm just gonna use a teaspoon. I'm just gonna do it, we don't want it too thick, because, I don't know. Well, I found some icing sugar. Oh. Hopefully it's not out of date. Oh, icing sugar doesn't go out of date. Does it not? No, it's a preservative, isn't it? I found it at the back. Get into it, please. A bit more. Perfect. Maybe a tiny bit more thicker. 
Yeah, I don't follow the, the recipe on this. I just do it to the consistency that I like. This is how I like to have my icing. I don't want to pour it too much because it's going to fall. But can you see that? It's not that thick. But it's thick enough. Okay. I've just zoomed you in a bit so you can see it a bit better. But oh my god, if you could smell this right now. So I've got it in, still in the tin. And with a knife, I'm just going to make little... <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird angle, but I wanted to zoom in so you can see what I was doing. So I'm just gonna make incisions along the top for the lemon juice. Make them quite, you know, decent size, decent apart. Not too many. And then the lemon juice, just the pure lemon juice, goes in. I haven't made lemon juice like in ages. What was grandma's favourite? She liked lemon, yeah. She did. It's like classic, isn't it? Yeah. She liked coffee cake. She used to make oh, a lot of I coffee love, cake. I love coffee and walnut cake. Mm. Oh, yeah. coffee buttercream. How yeah. nice is that? Mm. You know what? I've actually never made a coffee cake. Mm. Have I? No, she I never made one. Yeah, she made one. Let's make one. Coffee. Do you want walnuts in it? Oh, I don't mind. I do like walnuts. Yeah. Maybe a couple. Oh, wait, would chocolate chips work? No, not coffee and chocolate chips, no. Why? But people drink coffee and chocolate. No, I wouldn't like that. Ugh, no. Whatever. Yeah, so comment below if you want to see coffee and walnut cake, just a coffee cake, or what else was I talking about? Oh, the Viennese whirls. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh. done that I'm gonna let that cool let me give you a close-up this is what it looks like so I've let that cool the items are soaked in and now we're gonna try it where is the big knife got Mary with us now hi you weren't missed I have a knife in my hand just remember that Dickhead. should we cut it um it looks pretty you enough you can have the end of it all right Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's so... Oh. Why is it so yellow? Got zest in it. Good in it. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Wait, I want to give a close-up on, on the camera. <gasps> Maria, no. that was you. What the hell? Mmm, can you see this? God, it's literally so good. <gasps> Link the recipe in the description. See you later.